Alright guys, welcome back. This is Killer Panda, and we are playing Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers, 20th Anniversary Edition. I played the original a long time ago, and it's a good series. It's a it's pretty cool. It got kind of dopey in the second one, and kind of in its transfer to the new millennium, it got kind of weird, but Sins of the Fathers was pretty awesome. And overall, I think, yeah, I think... What is Broken Sword? I played a little bit of Broken Sword for other kind of puzzle adventure games. And Gabriel Knight's definitely my favorite, though. So, I hope you guys are excited, too. Oh, man, listen to this zazzy music. Let's get it started. What's going to happen? <laughs> Oh man, something's happening. Oh, he is freaked out. He's so sad. Oh, now he's going crazy. Now she's going. Oh, jeez. Tiger faces. Oh, blood everywhere. I like the new art style. It's cool. Oh man, he's getting choked out. Rare book. Oh man. Oh, goodness. Dead guy. Yeah, I'd be freaked out, too. Um, credits. I don't feel like it's fair to show me credits this early. I mean, you know... Like, the game hasn't started yet. Show me credits once the game starts. Like, after after I've played it some. And I can be like, hey, I want to hear about who made this game. You know? Yeah, that's what I've got to say. There were a lot of people involved in this. I wonder if this is all the... Uh, including all the original people who made the game originally. It'd be really bogus if it was just the, just the people who did the... Uh, the new edition. Bogus. Bunch of bunk. He's gonna save the day from all the witches. That's not what the game's about. Oh, jeez. Better do a good job, Jason Victor. Sissy Jones. And then they tell you everybody's names. I don't know. You know? I got a problem with this. Okay, I'm gonna skip this because this is gonna take forever, apparently. It's cool looking, but nobody needs to see all this. So I'll be back once it finishes. I dreamt of blood upon the shore of eyes that spoke of sin. Oh, crap. I walked away to turn the heater off, and this is what happens. I know better than to do this kind of stuff. Trying to act like I'm a professional and then pulling this business. Cool motorcycle. Whoever owns that must be a cool guy. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. Ah. Burn, you're a jerk, Gabriel. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes. Because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Burn. Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed as far as I'm Gross. concerned. Gross. I have messages for you when you want them. Ooh. 
Move the cursor around the screen to find the hot spots or to move. Click once to walk and double click to teleport. Score ball shows your score. That's important. Pause button displays the menu. Pressing escape also does this. Well, good to know. The journal displays Gabriel's journal, blah, 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 blah. I think I know. Star button, special edition content such as concept art. Okay. Hides all the other buttons on the bottom of the screen. Okay. Inventory bag. Map. Okay, talk to talk to people and to grab stuff. Uh, that thing to operate, gears operate. Open, look. And... Okay. Good to know. All right. So there's Gabriel. Oh, cool. That's nice. It actually, it does highlight stuff. Let's use the newspaper. Machinate this newspaper. Times dated June 18th, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. <laughs> right. I forgot how much I like the uh, the narrator, though. She's great. Um, and you know what I might do... Just because I'm scared about it. I'm going to kill the music. I like the music, but I'm I'm scared about it. Using the coffee machine. Drinking coffee. A lot of sipping going on. Good coffee. That's good. I'm glad to hear that, Gabriel. Ah, uh, look at the books. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Ah, oh, poor Gabriel. Gabriel doesn't need to carry that around. Okay. Ah, uh, ladder, bookshelf, lamp, desk. Let's use the register. Pop that register open. Cash money. Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. <laughs> Good one. Taking this gift certificate. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Oh. Would I do that to you? Oh, but I want all the money. Let's talk to Grace. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Dialogue. There we go, okay. Tell me about voodoo. What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Ah. Uh. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. <laughs> well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. Weird. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Gabriel, you are a failure. What can you tell me about Nolens? Nolens. I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Anything. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. Weird. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey, and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. 
Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Mosley is sketchy. You know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character's a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Weird. Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Man, I forgot how kind of over the top Gabriel Knight is. All right, that's enough of that. Um, let's see. So I've got the places to go. Um, there's balcony. Da da da. This is a cool looking bookstore. Meanwhile, back in my place. Um, garbage bin. Radio. Do do do. Black shirt. I'm taking it. Just in case. Hmm. I might be able to use this black shirt. I know why. Because I played this game. Secrets. Open up the refrigerator. Yeah, you open up that refrigerator. Gabriel, shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Oh. Women. Women don't like rotten food. I don't know why. I think you know why, Gabriel. The reason nobody likes rotten food. Because it's gross and you're I'll a messed up person. Deal. You never know when you need a touch up. That's true. And now the game begins. Of using the hair gel on every person. Hey buddy, you want some hair gel? Hey, you want some hair gel guy? Hey, here's some hair gel for you. Putting on my fancy coat with the popped collar. I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. Why not act more act more like you're selling drugs, Gabriel? Alright, where so these are the places that we've got to go. Let's go to the Dixieland Drugstore. The Dixieland Drugstore Drug is closed until tomorrow morning. Dang it. Let's go to the Voodoo Posted Museum. Posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying closed. Their hours list that they will open again tomorrow. Man, everything's closed. Shoot. It's bogus. Look at That's Mosley's office. That's good information to have. Police motorcycles. Let's use one. Gabriel has his own bike. Yeah, but that one's a police bike. I want that one. Let's go into the police station. Let's talk to Frick. He doesn't seem interested in ah, that. because he's bald. Eh. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? Maybe you can rework where your verbs go. Um, let's talk about I'm Detective, here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Ooh, crime scene. Where is the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky loos. Looky loos. Already there. I am not a looky loo. I am not a lucky I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel. Gabriel Knight. Knight. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. Punch in the face, is that what he's talking about? What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. Oh, come on, buddy. What do you know about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. Catholic people can believe in voodoo if they want to. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the desk sergeant, Frick. Why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? Ooh. Not at all. Why is he so grumpy? Hey, nice precinct. Think so, huh? <laughs> That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. I think the guy who's playing Frick is the guy who did, a. Uh... Um, Bigby from, uh, 
what's it called? Uh, Wolf Among Us. Sounds what like him. What can you tell me about Nolans? Nolans. I'll tell you. I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in Nolans would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. Well, good to know. Let's chat. Kind of quiet in here today. Summer's like that. Too muggy to mug, too hot to heft. How clever. It's a gift. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Well, thank Thanks. you. Let's look at the envelope. Gabriel opens the Manila envelope and finds... Cash money. photographs. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. Uh, uh -huh. I bet he doesn't anymore. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene Ugh. shot. A graphic close-up of a victim. Wow, that is extreme. I guess there's no other details. Okay, let's use that on him. Does this mean anything to you? Hey, where'd you get that? Uh, nowhere. Well, you shouldn't have that. Put it away before I decide to keep it. Ah. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, fine. Just be that way. Uh, there's some photos for me. Frick, let's look at mostly that crime scene. Hmm. Okay. How about you? Maybe he'll tell me where the crime scene is. Uh, officer, can I ask you some questions? Desk sergeant's right over there. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be like that, buddy. Talk to Frank. Gabriel can't do that from the front lobby. And I don't think I can go around back. I'm gonna get in trouble. Ooh, you're gonna get in trouble. Oh. No one goes back there until I say so, mister. Oh. Sorry. Dang it. Maybe. I've got an idea. I'm cooking something up. How about this? Alright. They won't tell me where he is. But if I... Or if I have like... I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. Oh, burn. Let's use the phone. Gabriel would rather use the phone in his studio for privacy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to act like I have to act like I'm somebody else on the phone so I can get them to tell me where he is. Is there a phone somewhere around here? There it is. That doesn't seem to work that way. Well, that makes sense. Dun dun. <laughs> Dial. The number you have dialed. Please hang up and try your. Okay, do I have a phone book somewhere? Maybe I have a phone book somewhere. Books. Gabriel doesn't feel like re. Okay, fine. Um, do, 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 desk. Gabriel's desk has been gathering dust since he wrote his last novel. Okay. He's got a lion above his bed. Let sleeping lions lie. I got that cheap at a garage sale. Always had a thing for lions. Because he thinks he's cool. Um, let's see. There's gotta be... Use the radio. Maybe we'll find something out from that. I want you to take hold of your prayer clothes. Better yet, take hold of your radio and let's do a miracle. Ooh. But first, I want <laughs> miracles. Oh, let's show Grace this crime scene photo. Everybody wants to see that. You want to see something really cool? Like a little oh, kid. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's really horrible. I know. Great, isn't it? 
God, somebody ought to lock you up. You're messed up in the head. You're messed up in the head, Gabriel. Um. Let's talk to Grace. Maybe, maybe she knows Mosley's phone Got number. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Huh. Call Germany. Like hell. If it's really <laughs> important, he'll call back. Well, <laughs> fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Uh, guess I have some more. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. Uh, do, 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 do. Request research. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Oh, I guess I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Well, okay. So I guess that plan didn't work. I thought that was going to work, the calling him. But I don't have his phone number. What'd I get? Ooh, what'd I get? Sketchbook. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Ugh. So is that Gabriel's dad? Hey Grace, you want to see my dad's Gabriel crazy picture? Gabriel can't see a way to use that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess maybe... I don't know, there's got to be something. I feel like there's... I'm going out. Don't hurry back on my account. I feel like whatever cop is going to tell me where Mosley is is not going to be one of the cops in the police station. Um, Both of those won't be open until tomorrow. Well, but yeah, there's really... The Dixieland Drive. Okay, close until tomorrow. Posted on the door of the museum is a sign. I thought I could go out further or something like that. It's been a long time since I've played this game, guys. Um, well, let's let's go back to the police station. Hmm. Let's use the window. The half grills prevent Gabriel from opening these windows. Besides, someone would see him trying. Okay. The front windows have iron half grills on them. Um. That's Mosley's. Oh, okay, I guess that's all I can do. The front window. Um, there's got to be something. Oh, alleyway. If Gabriel wants to talk to Mosley. He can go in through the front door. I mean, he can, but nobody's going to let him. That window leads to Mosley's office. We'll use it. Look at this other it's building. It's another municipal building, but not one Gabriel has any interest in. Bah. How did I get so confused so quickly? <sighs> There's got to be a way. She probably wouldn't cooperate. But I wouldn't mind trying. Weird. You're a weirdo, it's Gabriel. It's not going to look any better somewhere else. I'm taking that trash can. A portrait of the Narlands chief of police, a fine, upstanding citizen. In other words, nothing like Gabriel. Ah, 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 that. There's no reason to photocopy. Uh, maybe they'll let me photocopy that. 
Combine two items. Yeah, none of these look combinable. There's no reason. There's a good reason to photocopy it. Maybe Frick has more useful things to say. Or maybe I just need to wander around to other places. Can I bother you again, officer? What is it this time? Aw, oh, come on, don't be like that. Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, yeah. watch people come in. <laughs> see this book? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I write people's <laughs> names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Oh, I think not. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, Goofy. You know what? Fine. Come on. You can tell me where the crime scene is. Look, I know the papers got everybody stirred up about these killings, but that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder. Snap. Hey, I didn't say that. You'll read all about it in the papers tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, fine. That guy won't help me with anything. Gabriel can't do that from the... That won't let me go back there. Going back to the map. Um, let's go to the, the lookout. The sign says the overlook's closed for repairs until June 21st. Well, great. Guess we're going to the square. I can tell they've done a lot to streamline the game. Like, they really... Oh, awesome. They really won't let me, uh... Wander as much as you used to be able to, which is really kind of helpful. Officer. Yeah, you too. Keep moving. Um. Uh, we're gonna need an ambulance. Gabriel prefers hmm. his own bike. Besides, even Mosley couldn't get him out of that one. Uh, we're gonna need an ambulance. Maybe. Huh. You white face geek, you wanna eat my fist? Who's this bruiser? Anyone seen Joe? Hey there, hmm. nice beat. I dig it. The drummer does not respond. Because nobody likes people that just let's talk to this buff dude. He's not my type. Talk to this the jazz band. Paying any attention to Gabriel. Why doesn't anyone pay any attention to me? I would if I had enough time to do it properly. What talk? You're a weirdo, Gabriel. Hey, bro. Nice horse. Ah. Uh, coroner requests assistance to. Uh, we're gonna need an ambulance. Hmm. There's a Cajun band over here. A Cajun band. Inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toe tapping can be. Well, I never! Leave me alone, you, you, you man! Crazy Mime's being weird. Hey, Mr. Mime. Hey, quit being weird. I want to talk to him. I want to talk to this Mime. It's too busy bothering everybody. I don't get to talk to him. Hmm. You white face geek. You want to eat my fist? Oh, why is he so mean? Maybe this mime is the secret to everything. Let's talk to him. Since Gabriel can't read lips, he's disinclined to start a conversation. It's hmm. one of those mimes. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's uh keep out my gift certificate just in case. Nope, he doesn't want it. Okay. Back to the map. Um, and actually I think I'm gonna stop it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes. Whoop! Thanks a lot. Bye.